Governor Bello Muhammad Maton Lemmaradun said his administration will not tolerate any policy statement capable of undermining his peace deal initiative in the state in the name of opposition. But his administration welcomed any constructive criticism as accepted by democracy, which, according to him, will have then in taking right directions that will bring democratic dividends to the people of the state. The governor also assured the citizens of the state his commitment towards creating job opportunities, wealth creation, as well as reviving the educational sector of the state where he had already declared a state of emergency in the sector. Also speaking, former Minister of Finance Ambassador Bashir Yaguda and a honorary advisor to the governor commented the recommendation of President Muhammad Buhari to Governor Be Bello Muhammad Matawalla Maradun about his strive action taken to restore peace and security in the state and also welcome the decan peace. We are very grateful for today. We are here to receive our friends, our brothers that have left PDP and come back to PDP. They were in PDP with us for whatever reason, it's still the thing. They went back to APC now, they are here with you. They are here principally because of the achievement that you have done so far with the two months that was never recorded in Gampara under the rebel leadership of PDP and you are the governor. Uh, we wish you well, we will continue to be with you. And inshallah, this is the beginning of the best development for Lampara State, inshallah. In his remark, State PDP Chairman Ibrahim Mallaha ordered all the party chairmen in the respective local governments of the campus to take them along in the activities of the party. In their separate remarks, the campus among them were former two-time speaker of the state and former SRG, Mamambawa, former speaker of the state and the present chairman, National Institute of International Affairs, Bature Umaru Sambo, former deputy governor of the state and chairman National Hospital for Takot, Montari Anka, seven serving councillors and vice chairmen from Zulmi local government, among others, said they took this decision as a result of the achievements of Matawale administration less than 100 days. Abdullahi Abdurrahman Chakwa reporting from Gusau, Zampra State.